This video is about uh, electrical systems drawing in Visio 2003-2007. It's uh, part three of a series, and this is about creating device layers. This is where we left off in uh, part two. And zoom in a little bit here and look at the devices that we established. And uh, we're going to divide these into layers and set layer properties uh, for them. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is select all of these items and we're going to copy them. So I'll hold down a control key. Now they've been copied. And we're going to establish some layers. The layers properties. And add new layers. And then our first layer is going to be fire alarm initiating devices. set some colors for these layers. Our initiating devices. I'm going to select red. And just to make them a little bit different for our signaling devices, we're going to pick red, but we're going to go to more colors. And here we're going to pick something just slightly different. And it'll be a darker red. And for our legend devices, eventually we'll make them the same color, but for right now, just to keep them separate, we're going to make them a turquoise color. Now, uh, Divide these up. These are going to be legend devices. So I'll select them and put them in the legend devices layer. You can see they've all turned color. I'm going to be a little more particular about selecting these. I'm going to select the heat detector, hold down the control key, I'll select the smoke detector. And select the pull station. And it's going to be fire alarm initiating devices. And select the horn, the horn strobe, and the strobe. Now remember, uh, each of these has been grouped. So when I select them, I get I get the entire device. And here I'm going to go to fire alarm signaling devices. And you can see they're a slightly different color. So now we've divided these into layers and we're ready for some additional work. Uh, one thing I want to take care of at this point is room numbers. And if those uh, didn't come uh, in with the uh, drawing background, uh, we'll want to add those because that will be important information for later on. So I'm just going to take a small rectangle and select that and I'm going to put something in there for a room number for right now I'm just going to put three letters N standing for numbers I'm going to change the size of this to 8 point So uh, I'm going to put these in each of the rooms. And I'll just copy it. Hold down the control key. And I'll just continue to do that for all the rooms. 
And I'll go back, and the reason I like to just put ends in there for the room numbers is so that I can see immediately that no number has been put in. If I were to put a room number in and then copy it, then it would be very easy to miss and have duplicates. So this room is going to be 101. And so forth. And basically, I continue that through the floor. So that takes care of this part of the video. Uh, next video, we'll move on to um, some data fields uh, that we'll add to the devices.